Kellogg's Pep, the build-up wheat cereal with the prize in every package, invites you to share another thrilling adventure with Mark Trail. Battling the raging elements, fighting the savage wilderness, striking at the enemies of man and nature, one man's name resounds from snow-capped mountains down across the sun-baked plains. Mark Trail. Guardian of the forest. Protector of a life. Champion of man and nature. Mark Trail. On the desert wasteland of northern Wyoming, three men on horseback wait tensely behind a clump of trees, suddenly drumming fur of rapidly approaching hoofbeats, and shielding their eyes from the sun, stare at a rising cloud of dust. It's them all right, Mr. Harmon. That's the devil's herd, and they're coming straight this way. The Satan with them? Yep, right in front. Where he always is. And look at him run. He's almost flying. Time for me to get moving. Maybe we better ride with you, Luke. Uh, no, Mr. Harmon. You and Hank stay here. This is my job. Yeah, but you know what's happened to all those other men. Hey, get cracking, Luke. Satan's coming fast. Right. See you later. Come on. Go. Be careful, Luke. Think he can do it, Mr. Harmon? I don't know, Hank. Keep your fingers crossed. Satan don't see him yet. Luke's almost up to him. Yep, he made it. He's cutting him off. Watch him, Hank. Luke is set to rope him. Hey, watch out, Luke. Great Scott, that devil of a horse is charging him. He's down. Mr. Harmon, Luke's been thrown. Ah, ah Satan is trampling him. Oh, no. Come on, come on. we got to help oh, him. too late, Hank. No man could live under those hooves. Talk up another victim for Satan and the devil's herd. Looks like Satan and the devil's herd will provide plenty of action and thrills today. Fast action and quick thrills. When that sort of adventure lies ahead of you, it's best to be in shape for it. In shape to get the fun out of it. Yes, we all want to feel fit for fun, don't we? So make Kellogg's Pep. The main part of your breakfast every single day. Kellogg's Pep, the build-up wheat cereal. Wheat in its most delicious form. Toasted flakes of wheat, ready to eat, fun to eat. Wonderful milk and sugar. Kellogg's Pep helps to make you feel fit for fun because it packs a powerhouse of food elements you need to build up strength, build up energy, build up strong bones and steady nerves. And remember this. Every package of Kellogg's Pep also packs a prize. A dandy prize I'll tell you about later in the program. You see, P-E-P means more than Pep, the build-up wheat cereal. P-E-P also means prize in every package. So if you want to have your fun and eat it too, ask your mother when she goes shopping, bring me a package of Kellogg's Pep. It's mid-afternoon, and Lost Forest is alive with the sound and activity of the many birds and animals that roam freely over its protected acres. But in the ranch house itself, all is still. An atmosphere of deep gloom fills the air. At the desk, Mark Trail checks over a sheet of paper a tenth time, then slumps back in his chair and shakes his head despairingly. Hearing the bedroom door close behind him, he turns anxiously. So how is he, Cherry? Feeling any better? No, just about the same, Mark. He just fell asleep. Oh, good. He needs the rest. Poor Dad. It's as though he's, well, just lost the will to live. Isn't there any hope at all, Mark? Oh, if there is, I can't see it. I've been going over the accounts, upside down, inside out. The answer's the same. Unless we can raise $2,500 by the end of the week. Your debt loses the rights to the new fish trap he invented. But it's worth ten times that, Mark. Well, sure it is. That's why Mr. Cross lent him the money on it. But won't Mr. Cross wait for the money? Dad only needs another two weeks to perfect the trap. Then he could pay off the loan easily. Well, from all these letters, uh, pops to Mr. Cross, asking for an extension. And the answer's from Cross. I gather that Cross isn't really interested in the money. He wants the trap. Now, if he gets the rights to the trap, he can make a fortune. So mean to steal a man's work like this. Isn't there any way we can stop him? Mm, only by paying him, Cherry. And that calls for a miracle. First class. Oh, dear. You answer it, Mark. 
I don't feel like talking to anyone right now. Okay. Hello? Yes, speaking. Who? Oh, yes, sir. Why, uh, anytime, sir. What's up? I see. A what? Uh, say that again, please. I'll meet you in town in an hour. Right, sir. See you then. Cherry, do you suppose anyone was listening when I said we needed a miracle? What are you talking about? Keep your fingers crossed, sweetheart. We've got a chance to save your dad's invention. <laughs> What happened to you? I've been waiting for your call. Uh, no time for explanations now. Listen, throw some of my clothes in the suitcase and bring it down to the station right away, will you? To the station? Where are you going? Uh, out where the dogies wander, sweetheart, to Wyoming. What in the world for? To catch a horse. A horse made of gold. <laughs> Ever going to get there? Honestly, Mark, I-, I could walk faster than this train is going. Well, Silver Springs is a long way off yet, Cherry, and I... Well, I certainly didn't ask you to come along. Beats me the way you suddenly decide to pick up and leave Lost Forest. <laughs> well, just call it an impulse. Mm, fine time to have impulses. Leaving your dad all alone. Well, he'll be well taken care of, Mark. Scotty is there, and, and Mrs. Tompkins promised to come in every day to cook the meals. Besides... Dad perked up almost right away when I told him we'd get the money to pay Mr. Cross. Hey, you didn't tell him that, did you? Well, of course. All you have to do is catch a horse. And that shouldn't be hard. Well, this horse seems to be something special. He isn't named Satan for nothing. Satan? Yes. And uh, he's the leader of a pack of wild horses, about 30 of them. And they're known as the Devil's Herd. The Devil's Herd? Uh-huh. Oh, now, Mark, that's childish. Childish, huh? Uh, Mr. Benson should hear you say that. Benson? The government conservation agent who called me. But, Mark, why should the government be interested in a wild horse and be willing to pay $3,000 to anyone who catches him? Well, you see, Cherry, wild horses are practically all descendants of the uh, purebred original stock brought over here from Europe. Of course, the strain is pretty weak from years of interbreeding, but Satan is a complete throwback to the original herd. That still doesn't add up to $3,000 to me. Oh, it does to the government. Now, they want him on their livestock ranch to keep that strain alive and possibly breed a whole new herd. It's uh, part of the overall conservation plan. But, Mark, is it going to be so hard to catch Satan? Yes, Cherry, very hard. You see, Satan's fast and smart, too smart. I, he... uh, I beg your pardon. Hmm? I, uh, couldn't help overhearing your conversation. Uh, that name, Satan. It's a horse, a wild horse. Oh, I see. And uh, you're going to capture him, Mr., uh, Mr.... Uh, Trail. Mark Trail. Trail. I, uh, I've heard that name. Uh, by any chance, are you connected with the preserve at Lost Forest? Yes, I am. He certainly is. As a matter of fact, my father runs Lost Forest. Indeed. And, uh, you're going after Satan, are you, Mr. Trail? Well, I'm going to try. Uh, you apparently know something about him. I certainly do. Uh, where will you be operating from, if you don't mind my asking? Why, not at all. Uh, we'll stop at the Harmon Ranch near uh, Silver Spring. Are you from Wyoming, Mr... Uh, uh, Crosley. Yes, uh, uh, well, in, in a way, yes. Uh, that is, I, I, I've spent some time there. Oh, and uh, to answer your question, Mr. Trail, I, I certainly do know about Satan. And frankly, I would advise you to go right back to Lost Forest if you value your life. What? What do you mean? He's a killer, Mr. Trail. Six men have died trying to capture him. You might be the seventh. Well, here we are, Cherry. Silver Springs, Wyoming. Population, 1,735. Hey, Jerry, what's the matter with you? Tell me, why the long face? Mark, all I can think of is that horse, Satan. 
And what Mr. Crosley told us about those six men. Oh, so what? Please, Mark, let's go back to Lost Forest. We can get the money some other way, and then we... Pardon, but uh, are you Mark Trail? That's right. Are you Mr. Harmon? Yeah, that's right. Sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, you didn't. Oh, uh, this is Cherry Davis. How do you do, Mr. Harmon? Oh, pleased to meet you, Miss Davis. Uh, Trail, uh, before we go out to the ranch, I think I'd better tell you... Mr. Harmon? Hmm? I'm Howard Crosley. You received my wire? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why, well, Mr. Crosley, I didn't know you were stopping here. Well, I uh, hadn't planned to, Miss Davis. It was a, a spur-of-the-moment decision. But uh, after our conversation about Satan, I made up my mind that I had to see if Trail could capture him. Mr. Harmon here, I hope it's all right with you, Harmon. Well, yeah, yeah, you can spend a couple of days if you like, but I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed about Satan. Trail won't be able to get that devil. Well, what do you mean, Mr. Harmon? I just got a wire from the Cattlemen's Association. They've ordered me to send all my cow folks out after Satan to kill him. What? Oh, but why? Well, he's caused too much damage already. Outside of killing those men, he and that herd have busted fences and run off our stock. It's about time we put a stop to it. Well, uh, when is this order going to effect? Right now. Now, listen, Mr. Harmon. Hmm? Does it make any difference if Satan is caught or if he's killed? No, of course not. So long as we get rid of... Then give me a break, will you? Let me try to catch him. Give me uh, two days. Well... Just two days, Mr. Harmon. And if I don't get him by then, the horse is yours. And I'll help you hunt him down. Okay, if that's the way you want it. I won't tell my boys about the order, but you've only got two days, not a minute more. Mighty decent of you to fly us around in your plane, Mr. Harmon. I certainly appreciate it. I forget it. But, Mark... I don't see how flying over the plains is going to help you catch the horse. And, well, Mark, exactly what are you looking for? Well, my idea is to trap the horse, Cherry. Run him into a place he just can't get out of and then nail him. Uh, that's fine, but it'll take you a week to build that kind of a trap. You need wire fencing, posts. Well, not if there's a natural trap somewhere around here. Uh, any kind of a canyon with a, a dead end. Uh, none that I can think of. Oh, except maybe Indian Gap. Indian Gap? Where's that? Now we're coming up to it. Pass over in a minute. I would know that. That wouldn't work either. Why not? Let's open at both ends. And there's a sheer drop of 200 feet at the far end where it opens into Snake Canyon. Uh, there it is, dead ahead. Well, let's see. Yeah. Looks like an ideal spot, too. He's run the herd inward from the plane. But what about the other end, Mark? That drop into the canyon. Well, the gap isn't too wide at that point, Jerry. Do you see? The ground is fairly thick with scrub oak. The only real opening is no more than 200 yards. Wouldn't take long to fence that. No, a few hours. If the herd could get through that scrub oak easy enough. Well, they wouldn't try it if we tied rags to all the trees. Rags? Yes, Cherry. They'll flutter in the breeze, and the horses would shy away. Okay, Mr. Harmon, let's head back to the ranch. This is the spot, all right. Hey, hey, what's the blazes? Mr. Harmon, what is it? What's happened? I don't know. She's... He's out of control. The, the rudder's dead. We're in a spin. Pull out, Harmon. Pull out. I can't. The controls are shot, I tell you. We're, we're going to crash. With Harmon helpless at the controls, Mark and Cherry are spun crazily toward the earth below. In a moment, we will continue. So stand by. <laughs> Suppose you were in this plane with Mark, Cherry, and Mr. Harmon. Believe me, you'd really have to call on all your strength, energy, and nerve. So listen. Help build up strength. Help build up energy. Help build up strong bones and steady nerves. With that famous build-up cereal, Kellogg's Pep. Whole wheat in its most delicious form. Toasted flakes. That Kellogg's Pep. Not just one bowlful, of course. Kellogg's Pep won't work wonders overnight. But Kellogg's Pep, day after day, at breakfast time or any time, helps you feel fit for fun. It's a powerhouse of food elements you need for strong bones and muscles, extra energy, and steady nerves. For mmm, marvelous, malty-flavored Pep has more builder-upper vitamins than any other ready-to-eat wheat cereal. 
And one of those vitamins is vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin. Just one serving of Kellogg's Pep gives you a day's need of the sunshine vitamin. And mark this, P-E-P stands for prize in every package, too. And I'll tell you about those 12 prizes in a little while. I won't forget, if you remember this, if you want to have your fun and eat it, too... Take that, the prize package with the powerful powerhouse punch. Take that. With only two days' time in which to hunt down and capture the killer horse, Satan... Mark and Cherry fly over the rangeland in Harmon's private plane, searching for a canyon where they could trap the wild herd. Locating one at Indian Gap, they head back for the ranch. And suddenly the plane falls into a sickening spin, corkscrewing earthward out of control. I can't get her out of a trail. The rudder pedals won't answer. We're going to crash. Forget the pedals, Harmon. Hit that throttle. Pour on the coal. No, you... Do as I say. Quick, man. All right, but... Now, neutralize your stick. Keep your elevators and your air alarms level. Right. Mark, we're getting so close. Close your eyes, Cherry. Don't look. We're easing our trail. We're breaking the fan holder. Steady. Steady. That's it. Now, ease back on the stick. Slowly. Doing my best. That's the way. Easy, easy now. We're almost level, trail. But look how close we are. We're almost touching the ground. But it's level, thank goodness. Come on now. Fly it. Reach for the ground. I am. There, we're touching. Chop her down. Close the throttle and keep the stick forward. Right. Mark, did, did we make it? Oh, are we going to be all right? I think so, Cherry. We don't hook the gear in a pothole. Hail down. We're on three points. Okay, hit those brakes. Oh. Say, we made it. Oh, Mark. Now, easy, easy, Cherry. Don't go feminine on me now. Oh, Trail, I... I don't know how a man says thanks for his life, but... If it hadn't been for you... Forget it, Harmon. You know, uh... My neck was in the sling, too. All right, come on. Let's find out what happened to the ship. Yeah. Now, I'd like to know why that rudder went dead. Let me help you, Cherry. Thanks, Mark. Now, let's see here. Hey, look at that, Harmon. The rudder cable's broken. Now, well, why in the world should I... Uh-oh. What's the matter? It wasn't an accident trail. Look at the end of this cable. Let's see. Why, it was cut halfway through. Yeah. And routine use took care of the rest. But why should anyone do a thing like that? You got me, Miss Davis. Someone uh, gunning for you, Harmon? As far as I know, I don't have an enemy in the world. Well, I won't worry about that now. We've got a lot of ground to cover before we even reach a place where I can phone for horses. We won't be back home till nightfall. Nightfall? But that's a whole day shot. I know. I'm just thinking, maybe I'm not the target. Huh? What do you mean, Mr. Harmon? Well, looks to me, Miss Cherry, like somebody is interested in stopping you and Trail. Do you think we could make it in time, Mark? It'll be close, Cherry. Crew is out at Indian Gap now, putting in the fence. Well, who'll drive the horses into the gap? Oh, uh, Harmon will help us. He's made repairs, and he'll ride herd on them in his plane. Well, well, good evening, Trail, Miss Davis. Oh, hello, Mr. Crosley. Good evening. Yeah, not much time left to capture Satan. Uh, just enough, I think. Good. I, uh, hope you succeed. Believe me, I do. Uh, thanks. Trail! Trail! Uh, yes, Harmon? Listen, did you take the ropes out of the tack room? Ropes? Why, no. Great Scott, now we are in trouble. The ropes are all gone. There's not a Larry up in the whole ranch. Well, what happened to them? I don't know. Well, maybe the men who are building the fence took them. No, they didn't. As a matter of fact, they all left theirs here so they could carry more wire for the fence. But surely it isn't as serious as all that, Harmon. Why are ropes so necessary? I can't catch Satan with my bare hands, Mr. Crosley. I need a rope to tie him down. Oh, oh, of course, of course. Uh, how long will it take to get new ropes, Harmon? Only about an hour or so. Time enough for me to hop over to the next ranch and borrow some, but it means you have that much less time to find the devil herd and round them up. Four o'clock, Mark. Less than an hour of daylight left. I know, Cherry. Can you see anything through the gap? Nope. Not yet. Well, even if Harmon is driving him through now, 
take time to nail Satan. Besides, there's no telling what a wild horse like Satan will do when he's trapped. He may run right over the edge of the canyon here. Not really, Mark. Well, sure. A horse as wild as he is will do anything to get free. It's a Why, it's Frenchie, the ranch cook. What's the matter, Frenchie? This, this telegram. She arrived for you a little while ago. I think maybe it is important, so I bring it to you quick. Oh, thanks a lot, Frenchie. I appreciate that. A telegram? Oh, maybe something's happened to Dad. No, no, no. Don't you worry, Cherry. It's not about Pop. Then I've want... been expecting this wire, and it confirms what I've been thinking Wait, about. Mark. What? Listen. It's a plane. It's Mr. Harmon. Oh, I wonder if Look, you... Cherry. He's rocking the wings. That's the signal. The devil's herd is in the gap, coming this way. Keep your fingers crossed, Cherry. This is our chance. Looks like Trail's luck is holding. There's a plane. That means the horses is going through the gap. Yes, Hank. But uh, we still have an ace in the hole. Is uh, everything ready? Sure, just like you ordered. But I, I, I don't like this job, Mister Cross. When Mister Harmon finds what out, what if he does? You'll have the horse, and he's worth three thousand dollars. You can do a lot with that kind of money. Well, better get ready. Satan is coming through the gap. I can see him. Okay. This is really very amusing, you know. Mark Trail does all the work, and we reap the rewards. <laughs> Go on now, Hank. Do your job well. Mark, there goes Satan. He's heading for the trees. He'll shy off when he sees those rags, Jerry. Okay, wish me luck, sweetheart. I'm going after him. Be careful, Mark. Oh, don't you worry. Hey, hey, what's up? Mark, Satan is heading for the fence. Well, that's nothing to get so... Hey, wait a minute. There's a hole in the fence. Oh, no. Oh, and blazes. Hey, there's somebody on the other side. And he's got a rope. He's going to get Satan himself. He'll steal him from you, Mark. Do something. I think I can make it to the hole the same time Satan does. Uh, here goes nothing. Up, uh, boy, come on, get up. Hey, clear out, you! This horse belongs to me! He belongs to the guy that gets in first, Trail! Just you lay tell! Here he comes, then! My rope is going around his neck! There, I got him! Hey! Ha ha ha! We will continue, so keep listening. Say, there's a surprise waiting for you. A surprise packed in every box of Kellogg's Pep. Those marvelous, malty flavored flakes of wheat. It's a gaily colored statuette of a football, baseball, or basketball player. Maybe a cowboy, or an Indian, or an animal of almost any description. And each statuette stands on its own pedestal... So you can use them in toy villages. Move them around. Let them ride your electric trains. Start a collection. Get all 18 of them. Trade them with your friends. You'll find a bright new statuette right inside your package of Kellogg's Pep. No box tops or money to send. No long days to wait for your prize. And maybe your prize will be a turbojet model plane with an aluminum jet type wing and every other part. All ready for you to cut out, assemble, and fly. So tell Mother to pick the package with P.E.P. on the front. P.E.P. for Kellogg's Pep, the build-up wheat cereal. 
P-E-P for prize in every package. Yes, if you want to have your fun and eat it, too. Okay, okay. The prize package with the powerful powerhouse punch pick. Riding bareback on the killer horse, Mark Trail is unable to make the stallion turn before they plunge over the edge into the canyon. He hesitates, starts to loosen his grip on the horse's mane to drop off and save his own life. Then suddenly grips hard with his knees and sitting upright, rips off his jacket and throws it over Satan's head. There! That doesn't do it nothing, Will. Stop walking! Yeah, that's better. Slow down to a walk, pal. That's it. Now oh, you're showing some sense. Okay, Satan, your killer days are over. From now on, you run courtesy of the United States government. Oh, Mark, I'm so glad you're all right. When I saw Satan head for the edge of the canyon, I thought... Yes, I thought the same thing. And how about this here pack rat? Oh, Mr. Harmon, how did you get here so fast? Landed on the mesa up there, just in time to grab Hank. Good for you, Harmon. Well, let's have it, Hank. Why'd you try to steal my horse? I ain't talking. Well, Mr. Trail, that was brilliantly executed. My compliments. But, uh, just a minute. Uh, This, uh... This rope around Satan's neck. You didn't throw it, did you, Trail? No, Hank here did. Well, then, according to law, I believe the horse belongs to him, since he had possession of the horse before you did. But Mark caught it. I realize that, but uh, this is Hank's rope, Miss Davis. Oh, no, it isn't. It's mine. It what? Yeah, it's one of the ropes that was stolen. So according to your way of thinking, Mr. Crosley, that horse belongs to me. Well, uh, of course, uh, you, you and don't... And I'm giving it to Trail as a present. He deserves it. Well, thanks a lot, Harmon. Oh, Mark, isn't it wonderful? Now Dad's work is saved. Yes, Jerry. Now, Mr. Cross, do you want the money in cash, or will you take the horse in payment? Uh, I, uh, beg your pardon. Are you, uh, talking to me? I certainly am. You're, uh, you're making a mistake. Uh, uh, the name is Crosley. Uh, how about it, Hank? This is your chance to square things. Who is he? I, I don't know. Maybe you know something about that damaged rudder cable on my plane, Hank. no. No, no, I don't. He did it. Keep quiet, you fool. I ain't taking no rap for you. Sure, his name is Cross. But... The same Mr. Cross who wanted my dad's fish trap. But... Yeah, and it came to me last night. Offered me big money to cut the hole in the fence so Satan would get you, loose. You idiot. He stole them ropes from the tack room. Too. I deny it. He's lying. Uh, how about that telegram from the Cattlemen's Association? The... I suppose you'll deny sending that. Uh, 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 of course. Well, was that telegram from him? Oh, sure. This wire I got a little while ago proves it. It's from the association. In answer to the one I sent them. They never issued any orders to kill Satan. But, Mark, how did you ever Why, get... it took a wild stab, This Jerry. means jail for you, Cross. Oh, no, no, no. You can't do this to me. Yes, we can. You certainly got what you were looking for. You wanted a trap, and you have one. As a matter of fact, you walked right into it. Well, Mark, now that you've caught Satan, what are you planning on doing? Uh, Take it easy for a while, I guess. (laughs) Take it mighty easy. That's what Mark thinks. He doesn't know that a letter awaits him when he returns to Lost Forest. A letter from his old friend, Chief Lightfoot, chief of the Shoshone Indians. And when Mark reads that letter, he'll head out right away for Buffalo Canyon and danger. (laughs) Tune in same time, same station on Monday, and find out what happens to... Mark Trail! Battling the raging elements, fighting the savage wilderness, striking at the enemies of man and nature. One man's name resounds from snow capped mountains down across the sun baked plains. Mark Trail! Remember to tune in then next Monday when Mark Trail will again be brought to you by the build-up wheat cereal, Kellogg's Pep. All names of people and places used on this program are fictitious. Any similarity, purely coincidental. This program came from New York. Mark Trail by Ed Dodd also appears in the comics of many of America's leading newspapers. Look for it daily and Sundays. Stay tuned now for Tom Mix and his straight shooters. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. (laughs) 